Have you ever heard that song, Georgia On My Mind? Well, it's the state's song. Well, this evening, Georgia is on my mind. Why? Because it is a beautiful state. And today, we're going to talk about the habitats of Georgia. It is very important that we understand four vocabulary words before we move forward. Those vocabulary words are ecosystem, environment, organism, and habitat. An ecosystem is all of the living and non-living things that interact in a specific place. An environment contains living and non-living things that surround an organism. An organism is a living thing. And a habitat is the place where an animal or plant lives. Welcome to today's show. On today's show, we're going to discuss the five geographical regions of the state of Georgia and the plant and animal habitats that lie within. The state of Georgia has five regions. Every region within the state of Georgia has a different type of geography. The Appalachian Plateau is the smallest region. The Appalachian Plateau is in the northwestern corner of the state. In the Appalachian Plateau, you will find mountains and woods. To the east of the Appalachian Plateau is the Ridge and Valley region of Georgia. There are mountains in the Ridge and Valley. There are valleys in between the mountains. To the east of the Ridge and Valley region are the Blue Ridge Mountains. The Appalachian Mountains are within the Blue Ridge Mountain region. Brasstown Bald is the highest point within the state of Georgia. It is over 4,784 feet high. It is in the Blue Ridge Mountain region. Below the three regions in the north of Georgia is the Piedmont region. The Piedmont region has the most people living within it. South of the Piedmont is the Coastal Plain region of Georgia. This region of Georgia borders the Atlantic Ocean. As I've mentioned earlier, there are five geographic regions in the state of Georgia. The plants, animals, and habitats found in each area are unique. Brasstown Bald, the highest point in Georgia, is in the Blue Ridge Mountains. The Blue Ridge and the Appalachian Mountains join together, stretching from Georgia to Pennsylvania. There are many habitats for animals in this region. They are located in the mountains, valleys, forests, and in the rivers and streams. The valleys are formed in between the mountains. There are several waterfalls in this region. Animals in this region have adapted to windy and wet climates. Animals have a thick coat of fur to keep warm. It is needed in the higher elevations. There are deer, bears, birds, and amphibians in the mountains. They live near the streams catching trout. The state flower is the beautiful Cherokee rose and it can be found in the Blue Ridge Mountains. There's a wide diversity of birds that can be observed within the Blue Ridge Mountain region. They consist of the nuthatch, the warbler, and the woodpecker. The trout is a colorful fish that can be identified within this region as well. Beavers, bobcats, and white-tailed deer have also been sighted. Within the Blue Ridge Mountain region, there's a wide diversity of plants that can be found, such as the mountain laurel, beech trees, maple trees, pine trees, tulip poplars, magnolia, and the Cherokee rose, which is the state's flower. Azaleas and apple trees are in this region as well, along with many oak trees. They are mainly located near the base of mountains, where the soil is richer. The difference in soil contributes to a wide variety of plant life. The Appalachian Plateau is located within the northwest corner of the state of Georgia. The plants, Animals and habitats that are located within the Appalachian Plateau are unique from the other regions in the state of Georgia. The Appalachian Plateau is the smallest region in the state of Georgia. The land contains mountains that have flat tops called plateaus. A plateau is an area of level and high ground. Lookout Mountain is located in the Appalachian Plateau. It is located within three states, Georgia, Tennessee, and Alabama. Cherokee Native Americans lived within the Appalachian Plateau for thousands of years. Cloudland Canyon is part of Lookout Mountain. A canyon is a deep part of land that is located between two cliffs. Canyons are carved out by erosion, which is the wearing away of land over the course of time. Running water and wind can wear away land as well. People that visit the Appalachian Plateau can do many things, like hang gliding, hiking, whitewater rafting, and camping. The Appalachian Plateau has the coolest average temperatures in the state of Georgia. Georgia's Appalachian Plateau has a wide variety of plants and animals that live within the region. Plants include basswood, tulip poplar, the mountain laurel, and eastern hemlock. Animals include the cottontail rabbit, 
the gray fox, the white-tailed deer, and the squirrel. The Valley and Ridge region within the state of Georgia has plants, animals, and habitats that are unique to this particular geographical region. The Valley and Ridge region of Georgia is located between the Blue Ridge Mountains and the Appalachian Plateau. It is located within the northwest part of Georgia. A ridge is where two areas of land meet, making an upward slope. It forms a line called a ridge. A valley is the low land that is beside the ridge. There are three main parts to the ridge and valley region. The Armurchie ridges are here. The valleys are long and straight. The valley and ridge also includes the Chickamauga Valley and the Great Valley. The three valleys run parallel to each other like tracks on a train. The Chattahoochee National Forest is located within the ridge and valley. The forest has a diverse ecosystem. There are many different plants and animals that live within this area. The plants include the eastern hemlock, the yellow birch, mountain skullcap, and animals include the flying squirrel, northern mockingbird, and the Virginia opossum. The Piedmont is a Georgia geographical region. It lies between the Blue Ridge Mountains and the upper coastal plain. It is part of a larger area called the Southern Piedmont. This is located in the southeastern and mid-Atlantic regions of the United States. It is about 870 miles long. It is about 60 to 190 miles wide. It runs in a northeast to southwest direction. The Southern Piedmont extends from Alabama and Georgia. It runs in a northeastern direction. It runs through South Carolina and North Carolina. Land in this region is described as gentle with rolling hills. The actual meaning of the word Piedmont is foot of the mountain. This area includes rivers. There are streams. There are some forests. The Piedmont provides habitats for an abundance of animals and plants. The climate in this region consists of hot summers and mild winters. The city of Atlanta, the state capital of Georgia, is located in the Piedmont region. In the Piedmont region, habitats for plants and animals are found in the forests, lakes, and rivers. Bobcats, deer, squirrels, ducks, cardinals, and possums are some of the animals found in this region. The forests in this region produce a wide variety of trees, including pine, oak, and hickory trees. The plants and animals are accustomed to the hot summers and mild winters. Some of Georgia's well-known rivers run through the Piedmont region and provide habitats for a variety of fish. Animals that can be found within Georgia's Piedmont consist of squirrels, deer, turkeys, possums, and foxes. Plants that can be found within Georgia's Piedmont consist of dogwood trees, pine trees, hickory trees, red maple trees, and kudzu, which is an invasive species. Georgia's coastal plain contains plants, animals, and habitats that are found in each area. They are unique to this specific region of Georgia. The upper coastal plain divides the Piedmont region and the lower coastal plain. There is a fall line that divides the state of Georgia. A fall line is where the hard and rocky soil of the Piedmont meets the soft sediment of the upper coastal plain. Because of the rapid downward motion running water makes at the fall line, there are many waterfalls and rapids located there. The land in the upper coastal plain is flat. A plain is a flat area that is wide. Flowing water that comes from streams turn into wide rivers. In the upper coastal plain, the land is very suitable for agriculture and farming. Peaches, peanuts, and pecan trees grow here. Growing healthy livestock is successful here too. In southeastern Georgia, the Chattahoochee River creates a boundary between Georgia and Alabama. In western Georgia, the Savannah River creates a natural border between South Carolina and Georgia. Among the many animals that live in the Georgia coastal plains, the nine-banded armadillo has been observed within this region. The coyote and wild pig have been observed as well. The plants that can be found within Georgia's coastal plains range from the red gum, the black tupelo, and the slash pine. So there you have it the habitats of the five geographic regions of the state of Georgia that include the Blue Ridge Mountains, Valley and Ridge, Appalachian Plateau, Piedmont, and Coastal Plains. Thank you so much for watching. This has been a Bowtie Guy and Wife production. Connect with us. Feel free to check us out on Teachers Pay Teachers. Follow us on Instagram, like us on Facebook, and check out our Adventures page. Head on over to YouTube 
where you can check out many exciting videos from Bowtie Guy and Wife. If you want to keep up with the latest Horton happenings, check out our blog at bowtieguyandwife.com. We'll see you next time.